So eight years ago, Mark Webb directed 500 Days of Summer. It was not only his first film, but it was the last time he directed an independent film. And now eight years later, he directs another independent film, and it is Gifted. How does Gifted hold up? Let's see. I to the wind, to the wind of my soul. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Gifted. So Gifted is directed by Mark Webb, the film is written by Tom Flynn, and the film has the performances of Chris Evans, McKenna Grace, Octavia Spencer, and Jenny Slate. So Gifted tells the story of Mary, who is, well, as the movie states, Gifted. She is too smart to be in an elementary school, and Frank, who is Mary's uncle, he just wants her to live a normal life, and Mary wants to live a normal life too despite the fact that she's a genius but when Frank's mother has a different viewpoint on this whole situation it leads to the both of them having a custody battle so Gifted is a film I was honestly very interested in and then I was intrigued by it because this is the first independent film Mark Webb has directed since 500 Days of Summer since ironically I'm wearing the shirt he directed both of the Amazing Spider-Man movies and after seeing Gifted Man, this film is really endearing. That's the best way to, to describe Gifted. This is a very endearing movie. I really did find the storyline to be just so well written. And the reason I find this movie to be so well written is because of how interesting these characters are. I really was interested with a lot of these characters. From Chris Evans, to McKenna Grace, to Octavia Spencer, to the grandma. All these characters I found to be very interesting in this film and that's thanks to how well written the script is from Tom Flint. He did an impressive job writing Gifted. And something that I did find to be impressive about Gifted is how we get to hear all these viewpoints because when we follow the story we see that Mary doesn't want to be in the school that's like more for grown-ups. She actually wants to still be in an elementary school and she wants to still have fun because you have Chris Evans who is following his sister's um, rules about how if his sister was still alive she would want uh, Mary to be in a normal school and still be able to have fun. He's following what he thinks his sister does best. But then you have his mother aka Mary's grandma who wants her to be in a higher school. And you get all these other viewpoints in this film that were just so intriguing to me and you understand where everyone is coming from like you actually understand where Chris Evans is coming from but then you also understand where the grandma's coming from I really liked how we even get to have Mary's point of view on this whole thing too also what was so great about this film is how funny it is this is a very very funny movie. I was laughing so hard with this film. It was very consistent when it came to its comedy. There was barely a moment where really the humor missed. A lot of the humor actually was very consistent to me. And of course the film is just so adorable. McKenna Grace as Mary is wonderful. This is one of the best child performances I've seen in a while. She is terrific. I loved her in Gifted. She was cute. She was funny. And of course, when we have the more dramatic scenes, man, does she really, really know the dramatic moments in Gifted. Even though the other performances are great, she, I think, is the standout. Besides her, though, Chris Evans, I thought he was also terrific. And it's nice to see Chris Evans do a non-Captain America film, because lately, he's just been focusing on being Captain America. And while it's great to see Chris Evans be Captain America, it's nice to see him do roles like this. His character as Mary's uncle, I thought was very compelling. I really understood where he was coming from, 
He just wanted to follow his sister's rules since his sister passed away. And you could tell that life is definitely hard for him without spoiling anything. Like it's a very hard shoe to fill in when you lose someone. But you could tell that as Mary's uncle, he tries and he definitely does what he thinks is best for her. And I just really like that. I thought the actress that played Mary's uh, grandma, she's really good in this film. I really liked her here. And Octavia Spencer, she was was really good in this film too. I mean, it's no surprise. It's Octavia freaking Spencer. She's going to give a good performance. She's really, really good in this film. The cinematography for Gifted is also very well lit. I did think that the lighting looked very professional for this film. I was able to see very clearly what was going on on screen. I did like how it was shot and Mark Webb's direction. It was terrific. He really does take you into the story. And although I did, I personally really enjoyed both of the Amazing Spider-Man movies. You know, I do stand by what I've been saying. You know, I thought the first Amazing Spider-Man was great. I thought the second Amazing Spider-Man was good. And, you know, it was really nice to see Mark Webb do a blockbuster, even if those films aren't very well received. But I do think that it is nice that he directed an indie film and he hasn't really lost his touch, honestly, because 500 Days of Summer, that's still my favorite Mark Webb film. That is still the best one of me. That film is just fantastic. It's one of the best romance films. I've seen period, but Mark Webb, he does do a great job of taking you in this small world. Now, yes, is the story something you've seen before? Of course, but the approach that they take with this film, it does feel a little different. And I definitely appreciate the approach that they do take. And also not only is this a very funny movie, but at times it's actually a heartbreaking movie. I'm not gonna lie, there's times where I almost, almost cried watching Gifted because some moments were just so emotional and they were so effective that I almost got teary-eyed watching it. And Jenny Slate, I actually almost forgot to mention her. I thought she was really good as Mary's teacher. Now, the only problems I will say I had with Gifted, and they're not really too big of problems, except for maybe like one, but the pacing does drag a little bit for me. Not by too much, but just by a little bit, I felt the pacing just dragged. Sometimes I do feel like the movie focuses more on the grown-ups rather than Mary. Like there's times where I felt like the grown-ups were getting more screen time than Mary. And I don't have a problem with that because I did enjoy seeing that. But my favorite moments for sure are whenever Mary is around. And there's actually times where the film goes a good portion without really showing Mary. I also did feel like the third act was a little rushed because there's all these conflicts that this movie sets up. And without spoiling anything, when we get to the final 15 minutes, all of the conflicts that are set up in this film get resolved very quickly. And I still really did like the third act but I just did feel like it was pretty rushed. And then really what I consider to be my biggest problem with Gifted is where they take the story with Chris Evans and Jenny Slate. The minute you see Jenny Slate interacting more with Chris Evans, you know where it's gonna go. Now granted, I'm not gonna lie, it did create for one of the funniest moments in this film. It did create for one of the funniest moments. I'm not gonna deny that. All I'm gonna say is it happens after they have a conversation at a bar. That didn't really feel needed to me personally. Overall, Gifted is a very endearing movie. Mark Webb does a terrific job directing this film. The script is really well crafted. And although it may be something we've seen before, the approach that they take with this film does feel a little different. It's a very funny film. At times, it's a very emotional film. Some of the stuff when we get to the courtroom scenes, I really liked. And all around, Gifted is just such a great movie. And I'm gonna give Gifted three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what'd you think about Gifted? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.